We're here in beautiful Manar, here in Kerala, India. We drove in yesterday from Kochi. It was about a three and a half hour drive. Yesterday, we spent a little time getting settled in. We're staying at the Tea Hills Resort in the mountains here in Munar. We stopped for dinner at a restaurant not too far from where we're staying, enjoyed a nice meal. On the way here, we stopped by Blossom Highland Park, which was a beautiful park for the kids to play at for a little while. They have lots of playgrounds, swings, slides that the kids could play on. Very nice place to hang out for a while. Then we got our feet sucked on by some fish <laughs> at the foot spa. <laughs> Another interesting experience. We had that done when we were in Bali. Now we're here at one of the tea plantations. We're gonna get a tour here in just a minute. Our guide's supposed to be meeting us here. And then we're gonna learn more about how tea is grown, how it's produced, how it's harvested. And then in the end, I believe we get to do a tea tasting, which I'm excited for. Let's go learn about some tea. This is our guide, Raja. He's gonna give us a tour of the plantation. We'll walk around the whole plantation. Right, you're gonna watch this step here, okay? There's like a little yeah, stream there. Hi, baby river. <laughs> White flower, the tea flower. Tea flowers. Yeah, the tea flower, okay? Tea flower. Yes, yeah. tea flower. And the tea also, they have fruits, okay? When you peel the flower, it's a man, woman. woman. It's not flower, it's a man. Okay. So the ones that bud the flowers are yeah, the female the plants. Flower, after they give some fruits, okay? And they show some fruits. And is this different kinds of tea or all the same? All the same tea. All the ah. same tea. In, in all the Lockhart plantations? Yeah, all the same. So how many plantations are there around the area? Yeah, so a lot of plantations. But here, this is Harrison Malayalam. Okay. This is a uh, 2,500 hectare acre. 2,500 hectare. hectare. Wow. So totally different. That's a lot. You can see it goes all the way up the mountains on all the sides. Yeah. Are they all manually harvested? They cut the plants manually? Yeah, manually. manually. How do they get in some of the places, like yeah, on the explain. edge? Explain soon, okay? Okay. Yeah. This tea called Camellia Sinsis. Tea name, the science tea name, okay? This tea is come from like a China. City. Mm -hmm. So China people clean the forest. Mm -hmm. That time the people making a hot water. Okay? Hot water. So really when you wind coming, so wind coming, to the relief go to the hot water inside. Hmm. So when you're boiling, it's color is changing. Okay? So after finish the work, people setting so the water. See the water, water is red color. So everybody is why the red color? Hmm. To drink everybody. In any way cool place, as possible throw. Here's everybody thirsty. So everybody is more energy, caffeine. So people thought why the <coughs> leaf inside, how to drink more energy, coffee. So after people used for again, again, again to eat. After research, research, the tea induced spot the world, China. Nicole has found a friend. She's scratching herself on the bushes. Oh, she's coming. She's coming for us. Yeah. <laughs> it is harvesting, yeah? So everybody oh, early okay. morning, I say before 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Oh, okay. 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 Four type of harvest, okay? First one, hand harvesting, mm -hmm. hand picking. Top four leaf harvest. Second one, scissor, okay? I use the scissors. Scissor. You know, on the cross cutting scissor, you can read. So, scissor to harvest like this. And third one, like electric scissor. So, harvest like this. And third one, let's call kochai machine. It's called kochai machine. A machine? Yeah. Machine. Ah, okay. I was curious if they'd use so any you know, sort of machinery. Yeah. Antenna on the machine, they harvest it. Oh, they just I think last that generation working for the tea plantation people here. Maybe after 20 years. I think robot working here. Mm -hmm. So people robots, robot. yeah, <laughs> Tesla robots, technology, <laughs> like Rob yeah, yeah. yeah it's okay. Muna tea, it's good it's weather. The tea won't cool. Tea won't rain. Other land like yeah, Cochin and Alapula, it's not good for the eucalyptus mm -hmm. because upset in the underwood. So those big tall trees are the eucalyptus yeah. trees. So after cut it, go to the tea factory. Used for the firewood. After used for the the eucalyptus tree. Three type of eucalyptus tree: white gum, red gum, yellow gum. Okay, it's called white gum, very tall. After the leaf to make oil, this is eucalyptus oil. So the eucalyptus is very good for that um, all kind of pain, joint pain, neck pain, is for the muscle joint. Okay. Can you walk? Sure. And explain. Let's go. Yeah. Hard work like this. It's for you. Thank you. Here, sis. He's got some leaves for you. This is for you. Yeah. I'm your teacher now, okay? Harvesting people sometimes five leaves, sometimes four leaves. Sometimes Today, harvesting, same day to processing start, okay? The same leaf to come white tea, green tea, black tea. It's the same leaf? Same leaf, okay? The same leaf, okay? The top leaf, see the top leaf is a white tea. And it's slowly open, like a yeah, silver. Silver white tea is golden white tea. Hmm. Okay. So very good for that uh, cardiology. Heart, stomach, and eye, and memory power, and weight loss. So white tea is more expensive because uh, harvesting difficult. 
yeah. and therefore the tea factory is processing is typical the yes. second leaf in the second leaf like a green tea where is your green tea or oh, this is your green your tea second leaf. so this green tea okay the two types of green tea yes. the leaf green tea yes. you know the world health organization highly recommendation green tea without a uh, empty stomach you not know, recommendation green tea okay with oh, food only yeah. ah interesting so, and, uh, like okay gonna we're going to learn that so now so this is a black tea Next oh, black tea. is your black tea. Black tea. Okay. Black tea. Will you mentally... You don't like it black yeah, tea? Yeah, no. Oh. <laughs> black tea. You do not drink? I will try, but I don't like the oh. bitterness. I want... I want... Oh, yeah. this is different I tea. want my oh, tea. I'll try. Oh, okay. Yeah. So when you mentally pressure. Mentally pressure. First you make on black tea, you drink some pressured gold. We just learned a lot about tea. I had no idea. Green tea, white tea, black tea, milk tea, it all comes from the same plant. We got a full breakdown on how it's all processed here at the factory that we're gonna go check out here in just a little bit and how each different leaf is processed in order to produce the end result, whether it's white tea, green tea, black tea, or milk tea. The kids aren't that interested, <laughs> so they're doing their own thing. It's a lot of information to take in, but it's very informative. I had no idea about any of the process for producing tea, so it's interesting to learn. You're hunting, oh, down he goes. Hunting for treasure. We're doing the exit so we can just dig there on the way back. So your arms and your neck are red, buddy. I know. It's been mostly overcast since we've been here and we didn't think that it would be necessary to put sunscreen on the kids, so we didn't. But the sun's pretty strong here. So the tree is called silver rook, okay? Silver rook. Yeah, so and the leaf very good for that, like a compost. The compost. For Making our way through the tea plantation here. It's a nice walk. Hi. <laughs> the kids are loving it because it's not too hot. It's actually really nice. The temperature is very good. It's kind of safe. There's a couple of drop off ledges, but. Daddy, can you oh, you got your flower? Yeah, would you mind? Do you remember what it's called? No, I didn't. Listen. Landana. Landon. Ah, it smells yeah. really good. Don't eat it. I'm not gonna eat it. This is a really cool experience. Lemon mint. Lemon mint. Yes, but not eat something, okay? It's only animals. Lemon mint. I hear some bees. Great place for bees. You look like blue, yeah? Looks blue, yeah. Yeah. Blue snow. Blue snow. Yeah, okay. blue snow. Yeah. Oh, what's this? This has got little pricklies on it. Sometimes the food bites. Uh huh. So you take that leaf like this and put it in the hot water. Six glass of hot water when you're boiling, half glass of hot water. Mom. After you drink. Stop it for the stomach pain and dysentery and vomit. All right, let's watch our step, guys. Another little flower. Yeah, I'm gonna go. You're gonna ask him what kind it is? We're learning a lot, not only about tea, also about the different trees, the different flowers, different leaves of the flowers. Okay, so cool. The name of this flower is Florida. Florida, that's where we're from. Florida. So the tea leaves go to under the soil, seven to eight meters, very deep. Wow. They so grow that the far. Slope side only is cultivate. The tea want cool, the tea want keep wind, so cool. So that's why only mm -hmm. monarchy the more famous, 70% export here all the tea. So mostly export the tea, white tea and green tea mm -hmm. and other tea and black All the tea, tea in the world? Yeah. Wow, 70% so of the world's called? tea. Here to export it, good quality. Naturally the tea gives a good taste, naturally. Okay, so that's why so anybody is not cultivating the plant. So why you cultivate in the slope side? Sometimes the slope side comes from like this. The roots too um. grow. It's more strong. We started over there. We've made our way through the field here. There's a nice big path, walking trail. And we're making our way up this way. And then we gotta go back over this way to make our way back over. It's a good little hike. Simi says she likes hiking. This is so nice though, it's not hot, it's very cool, the air is fresh. Demi, <sighs> do you like this temperature? Yeah. Nice and cool, huh? I wish it was like this every day. Mommy said every day was hot. It has been hot, but up here it's nice and cool. Where we've been, yeah, in Kochi is really hot. Yeah, Kochi is very hot. My phone's showing 82, but it feels much cooler than that. Our guide is King Raja from the tour company that we use. We booked through Viator. I'm not sure exactly what the name of the tour company is itself, but he's been great. He's been very informative. He's been patient, and we've got to learn a lot about tea. So he told us 70% of the world's tea is 
produce and harvest here in Minar. That's, that's a lot of tea. And I believe it because as we drive through the hills here in Minar, there's tea fields everywhere, all the way up the slopes of the mountain, driving up these winding roads. It's all green bushes of tea. It's hard to imagine how some of this even gets harvested because of the positioning of how it grows. All right, we got a little muddy spot here. Let's watch our, watch our step. I got this. We got this. I'm gonna hold your hand, sis. Stick your foot all the way across. Go, 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 go. Sorry, Ted. All right. I didn't know it's okay. okay. This is a much longer hike than uh, I think any of us expected. And I think we're only halfway done because we're out in the middle of a tea field. I don't even see the road anymore. Yeah, they're beautiful. And the terrain has gotten a lot worse. There are places that are very muddy. Like right now. Good job. Still a nice walk. If you are coming here to do a tour here in Minar. It's a little long still. Just have the right expectation. Oh, you all right? And I slipped. I got you. Just have the right expectation of uh, how long you might be out here. After this, we're supposed to head over to the tea factory. This place is massive. We're still walking. I think we're we're going that way. We might be halfway there, a little over halfway. But we've stopped here because you can see some of the workers harvesting some cows in the distance as well. It's a little bit of a watering hole down there for them. The guide is giving us like juice boxes and bananas if we want. Well, but we got the juice, juice box. box. How is it, bud? Epic. Epic. Let's try some hot tea. Oh, we're gonna get some tea. Thank you. Oh, you dip it in the tea. If you dip it in there, it's not going to be that hot. Can I tell you something? So the man gave us a little snack. Bobby already started batting it. How is it, bud? Good? Good. You want to dip it in the tea and see how it tastes? No. No? Okay. I'll mm. dip it in the tea. Mm. Oh, you want to try it? Okay. Tell us how it is, sissy. You like it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Can you I wanna, try? Yeah, you want to try? Here, Mommy's going to help you out. She dipped it in her tea? No, no, no. I want it for mine. Okay. I got the tea all now. I'm going to try it. You like it? Looks like you both like it. Nice. I'm going to try the tea. Ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. Mmm. It's really good. And then we'll try it with a snack. Good. Mmm. One more. More it tastes. It's pretty good. Yes, so my family is from Poland, and we have something that tastes exactly like this, and you also traditionally dip it there in tea. So that's... The, it, What's it called there? Do you remember? No. No. I'll have to ask my mom. No, but I remember, just like this taste immediately brings me back to my childhood. Mm -hmm. You give it to kids too. When when you have little babies, you dip it in the tea and give it to them. Yeah. No, it's like more like a cakey thing. Yeah, like a cake, cake snack. But it's like kind of it's kind of um thing. kind of crunchy. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, thank you. So I guess we're about halfway done with our tour. The sun here is very strange. We've we didn't put sunscreen on any of us, but it's, and it's been overcast the entire time. But I can feel that my skin's starting to get a little bit of burn. You can see Sawyer's a little bit pink. Nicole's shoulders and neck are a little pink. I guess the sun is different here in the mountains here in India. I just hold it with my normal hands. All right, finally we made it. The last half of the hike was not easy, especially with kids. There's very narrow pathways, lots of slippery slopes, crossed a couple creeks. All right, but we made it. Everyone's good. Sis got a little scratched up, but she's tough. Right, sis? All right, now we're gonna head over to the factory, learn a little bit more about how tea gets processed, and we'll see you there. Hey, we've made it here to the Heritage Tea Factory. We're gonna go see how they process the tea plants and how they get it from where we just were in the tea field to the end product. So there's a weigh station over here, they weigh it, and then they come over and they unload it here. So all the tea leaves like this, and here we Lift. Welcome to the Locker Estudant Tea Factory. So this particular factory is just an exporter. Everything they produce gets exported to 18 different countries. And the name of this factory, the brand name is Harrison Malam. 
we're gonna go see the process. It smells like an old tobacco barn. Uh, that brings back memories of a child when I would help harvest tobacco in the fields of Kentucky. Today's black tea. I'm sure the black tea process is based on. The withering process. Wow, it smells really good in here. From the fresh tea leaves, they're withering, so they're applying heat to the leaves to make them wither. And that's, the, I believe, the first stage of the process. It smells really good in here, though. It smells disgusting. Sis doesn't like the smell. Yes. Today's black tea, <laughs> this is all the fresh leaves for plantation. <laughs> when you collect the tea from the plantation, we go to the factory. So we showed the lift earlier. They just, they just pulled this from the truck. The truck came, got weighed, and now they're bringing it up on the lift. And then they take it off of the lift, and then they throw it into the trough here. So all these troughs are full. The hot air from dry go to the ducks, but they're getting dry by year. Oh, wow. They're getting dry by years. So it's like a blow dryer. Yes, dry. This factory making black tea. Yes. Only the leaf quality. Just a leaf only be a manufacturer. This factory capacity in a day, 22 tons per day. 70 tons is waste. The hot air from dry air, it's same like just maybe one day. One day. So the moisture. After ready the moisture, chopping the other leaves. This is going for the white tea. That's the white tea. The white tea is a way to manual by hand pick, just dry by sunlight. This is a high polyphenol, more antioxidant. So they process 22 tons of tea every single day. Wow. Yeah, that smells good. So this feeds air into the troughs and the air comes up. Ooh, that part was really warm. There's another trough section. This one's empty though, they must have already processed them. So the three floors is done with the single chutes. After dry, we took manually, good leaf here manually, short way manually, we dropped it manually. We get the small holes. Oh wow. There's a secret this the chutes. right there. So when you get dry, the, there's often dry leaf, you're dropped in my manual. This leaf move to the rolling floor. These are the chopping machines. The, each chopping machines have some separate chutes. It's a manual process for getting the tea into the chopping tubes. And now we're gonna go see the chopping process. So this is a, a jungle system. Just we click the bell for the message to the people. Those people understood these machines are empty. There's message to the bell, just single bell. So this people understood one is empty. Maybe we just click two bells, two is empty. So that leaves come separately. <laughs> so there's some heavy machinery here, guys. Gotta be safe. After dry, my two leaves comes here. It's, it's very old machine, 100 years old machinery. 100, 100 year old machine. With the leaves, yeah. Look right there. The this machine have uh, the four wooden pattern placed at the bottom of the roller. This fly will pressure to the center. Chopping is really happen. After 15 minutes chopping, that leaves comes to you. Once again, it smells really good in here. So after chopping, that leaves comes to you for the filter by size. After chopping, we get the size basically. It's very bigger leaves. Yeah, okay, these bigger leaves all get separately. Smell it. So this bigger leaf is, is ungrinded. This is black tea have a high quality. This fine is a very smaller leaf. We get a separate uh, separate basket. We got the smallest fine leaves. Oh, it goes to the bottom. The white tea, which is smaller, it falls out into the bottom here. And then the rotator is separating the black tea leaves out into these buckets and they're dried out. It's bigger and smaller. The smaller leaf gives more dark color. So if you like, actually, if you need with milk, it's not necessary. If you have it made with sugar, also this is no sugar no milk. So we want to regrind again, more crushed, then filter again. So this which one is ungrinded, this is high quality for the black. This happens only for the black tea. This is not for the green tea. Every Monday we do this white white tea. We have Monday's holiday for the factory. That time we made the missionary. So this black they have a choppy. So by size. I show this oxidation to the leaf. Huh? Now we're gonna go see the oxidation process. So the building was made was constructed in 1936. 1936. So after a big flood in Munar, 1924 is big flood in Munar. So that machine is all we collect a recovery from this old factory. So that factory after flood we had demolished, then we new planted. 
So this mission is very old. Andre is old mission. Yeah. So this is accelerator. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's very old one. This accelerator. Mm. Very old. This was a metal mission. That's awesome. Very old mission. After chop chopping, we get the size basically the smallest leaf and bigger leaves. So one, two, three, four, by the different sizes. Just we arrest here for the 120 minutes for the two hours with oxygen. So that's the reason tea is more healthy, white is without oxidation. The black tea more tasty with oxidation. This is hot. Uh, oh wow, yeah, it's hot. So after they ferment the tea, they bring it here into 110 degrees Celsius drying stations. How does it feel? It's very hot. Yeah. It smells very good. Oh yeah, it's really warm. So this is the boiler system. We, uh, we have a lot of equal industry. We use them for the fine woods. We boil the boiling water, we steam the leaves. What do you think, bud? Sis, what do you think? <laughs> it's hot in here, huh? Yeah. All right, come on. To dry leaves, we have passed through this process. This machine is fiber extractor. This machine has a type of plastic roller. The roller made with vinyl. This machine working principle static electricity. This machine, this roller charging to the leaf is creating electrostatic. So the vibration, the leaf is get separated. It uses a so process of vibration leaves. to separate the leaves. So leaves and stalks get separated. So this is orthodox. Just a leaves. Just a leaf is an orthodox tea. Wow. Just a leaves. Yeah. So this is the fiber. So it, the, these fiber. machines using static electricity and vibration separate the fiber from the leaves and the stems. So this, this, is the fibers. this is waste from our factory. This is it's called tea waste. Is this the 70 tons of it's waste? waste? It's made for color, hair color, t-shirts, oh, wow. uh, for everything. So if it's mostly, if people have a more dark color from the outside, it's powder from tea, that factory is used as stems and fiber mix everything, leave together. That's a series method that is get granule types. It's ball shapes. So how to you agree this very fine powder forms? This is uh, it's called a dusty tea. So we are going to this is the color sorter machines. This machine have a camera, this camera the third two different color, just a leaf, just a leaf only just even black. Just a black, it's a tea. It's not a black, it's not uneven black. It's all the stock, it's the stems to the tea, the waste. We just start again and again and again. We want the 100% leaf only, we need to pack. Wow, <laughs> this is all the tea. Harrison's Malayam, that's this the brand. The brand for the factory. So, which tea is good quality? That is a good quality. Bigger the leaf, better the quality. That tea named orange speckle. Orange speckle? So I give the tea tasting, then you know the difference. How to prepare the tea and then explain everything. Okay, okay. We're learning so much about tea today. I had no idea. I know that there are tea connoisseurs who know all of this stuff, but it's new to us and it's it's actually very interesting. I'm glad the kids are taking an interest in it. Maybe they'll start drinking some tea. They like lemon tea and iced tea. Maybe we'll start doing some hot teas in the mornings. Now we're going to do a tea tasting. This is white tea, just a butts. This is a hand pick. This is a, it looks like very small leaf. So this is the best tea for the tea. This is, the best, this right? is more antioxidant. Just add the leaves. One spoon of tea. Boil the water. And close. Three to five minutes for the duration. This is green tea. Is this one some green tea? Green tea. <laughs> I want a green tea. Yeah. This is the one we saw coming out of the machine. Mm -hmm. Actually, the very whole leaves. So this okay. modern people have with milk and sugar. This is uh, tech. Without milk, without sugar, it's this tea. Orange <laughs> Orange Some hot 
Says you got tea in your hair. Come here. Tea in my hair. Be careful. Be careful. The full boiling water. This is green tea. Uh, Can you go? Oh, so then you strain it from the cup into a bowl. Can we try all of these though? Do you want to try them? I want to try all of them. Can have a table manners. You can do like that. Slurping. Slurping just for the flavor. The big difference. Orange pickle. The pickle for the back. Okay, so everyone wants to try all the teas. Try the and swallow. Kind of like. <laughs> oh, this is so good. You like it? Maybe, but you gotta drink it. Can I try? Can I try this one? She doesn't. Like, Sammy doesn't like the white tea. Mom, it's my turn to go on this one. No, I like it. But you don't have to do that after you get it off the spoon. Just slurp it off the spoon like you're drinking, like you're eating soup. I can't. I can't. Ooh, I like Can I try that one? Yeah. That's the orange pickle? Orange. Slurp it off like, like soup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sawyer is slurping after he gets it in his mouth. So is Nicole. That's where he got it from. <laughs> Try the last one. Yeah. Let's try the last one. Yeah. Oh. That's where Sammy gets that face. <laughs> I'm Sawyer. Try this one. I have, have I gotten uh, to try the first one yet? Yes, yeah. you tried all of them, but. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? The last one was a little bitter, huh? Alright. All of them. This is the white tea. The most expensive because it takes the longest to produce. Mmm. That's really good. It tastes like spinach. I think so. This is the orange orange burnt. Orange speckled. Orange, orange pickle, yeah. That one's got a really good flavor. This is the tippy flowery pickle. They're similar. It's kind of the same. It's a little more of a dull taste. And this one is the fine dust. Mmm, it's, it's very, very tea. Very tea. This one? They're all good. I think I like this one the most. We have small oh, things. you have bags if we yes. want to purchase. Okay. What do we do? Orange pickle too. All right, we're getting a bag of the orange pickle. That was Nicole's favorite, and I enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much. Have a great day. What do you say, guys? What do you tell him? What do you tell him? That was a cool tour. We learned a ton about tea. We, unfortunately, we didn't get to buy anything because they don't take cash, and we don't have a card that will process payments here so all right that's a wrap we're gonna get our driver and we're gonna head back to the T Hills Resort grab some dinner and call it a day thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe